Congress leader Sajjan Kumar has been convicted and sentenced to life imprisonment in the 1984 anti-Sikh riots case by the Delhi High Court. The Delhi Court cancelled his acquittal from a lower court, observing that the accused enjoyed political patronage and escaped trial. The court also added that the failure of police to investigate the case was with respect to registering FIRs. Sajjan Kumar has been asked to surrender by 31st of December. I am not uh, only part which, uh, which is relevant is that Sajjan Kumar has been held guilty uh, in the killing of the five people in Delhi. Uh, butchering the five people in killing. This is now Rahul Gandhi need to answer what his party's role was. He need to come and come clear whether he will remove Kamal Nath from the chief minister post now or not. Now the, the ball is in court of Mr. Rahul Gandhi and Congress party today. He, he was leading the mob. There is a affidavit in the Nanabadi Commission hmm. which is tabled in the parliament. Where, where Moti Singh said, he was saying, Jisne Roshan Singh Bhag Singh ko mara, usko 500 rupiah, jo or marega usko 1000 rupiah dunga. He was uh, giving money to the killers. He was the main perpetrator. And consulting editor Vinay Tiwari uh, joining us on the phone line. Uh, Vinay, good morning. What we're seeing right now is, uh, is, is uh, of course, this, uh, this reversal of the acquittal coming about with the Delhi High Court now uh, sentencing Sajjan Kumar to life imprisonment but with the opposition now saying that this is not enough, that action must also be taken against Kamal Nath. Yes, it's, it's very ironical and perhaps politically not so great a timing for the Congress mm, because mm. Kamal Nath's name had indeed cropped up during the investigations. Remember, this is one particular case, Sanjana, which has had 10 inquiry commissions. I, I mean, there is not a single event in the Indian modern Indian history post independence where there have been 10 inquiry commissions from the Ved Marva Inquiry Commission to the Ranganath Mishra Commission to the Justice Nanavati Commission. There have been 10 inquiry commissions. It's only, but in those inquiry commissions, while Kamal Nath's name was indeed mentioned in relation to uh, an incident that happened outside Gurudara Rakab in Delhi, uh, he wasn't ever charged or charged sheeted simply because of lack of evidence. Uh, but that murmur or that, that narrative came back when Kamal Nath was named as the Chief Minister uh, for um, Madhya Pradesh. And to have Sajjan Kumar getting convicted after 35 years uh, on the day that he's being sworn in is politically not so great a timing for the Congress because today the court's judgments even go to the extent of confirming what has long been argued and suspected that Mr. Sajjan Kumar enjoyed political patronage and hence uh, was acting on behalf of, of, of a rogue political party at that particular point. Right, perhaps, uh, and, and that's probably also reflected in, in the court statement, Vinay, because it, you know, they said that it is important to assure the victims that despite the challenges, uh, despite so many years later, truth will prevail, uh, referring to the courage of the victims, um, you know, one of them, particularly Jagdish Kaur, who had fought for action against Sajjan Kumar and the others in this case. And uh, the 35-year battle it has not been an easy one because the number of uh, technical arguments that have been made by Mr. Sajjan Kumar in the court are simply unprecedented. I mean, if somebody was to document uh, an annals of Indian legal history, you will find that this was one particular case where the number of technical arguments, both in the lower court as well as in the high court, that have been raised by Mr. Sajjan Kumar in all the cases that he's facing a space to trial on, have been unprecedented. And you cannot, it's an unequal battle. It's a battle between people who frankly did not have as many resources to victim uh, against somebody who was arguably one of the most powerful politicians in Delhi. Remember, Sajjan Kumar is, is, was perhaps the undisputed king of outer Delhi, uh, somebody who ruled and governed that place unhindered for, for decades, uh, and is a very landed, well, financially secure politician. I mean, he, he was a man who really couldn't be defeated. In fact, his son currently uh, has now taken over the mantle for him, and only in 2014 did there was election. So, very powerful man. And to finally have that in, after 35 years is, is almost a testimony to the struggle as you rightly pointed out, that has been going on for 35 years. Absolutely. Vinay Tiwari, our consulting editor, thank you so much for putting that in perspective. Let's remember, many witnesses and survivors gave accounts of, the con of uh, leaders, particularly in the Congress, leading mobs targeting the six back in 1984. But Sajjan Kumar, let's remember, is the first top leader of the party to be convicted. The order coming on a day that, let's remember also, that the Congress is taking over the three big states after its election victories last week.